Okay, guys. Right here, my hair is freshly washed. Well, actually, it's been like an hour, so it's pretty much dry. So that's my hair with no product. Um, I know it looks really shiny, but it's really still not wet. So what I'm about to do is put in a leave-in conditioner from Miss Jessie's called Leave-In Condition. I think this launched like last year or something. Now, it's pretty thick. I'll tell you that for a leave-in conditioner, I was pretty shocked for it to be so um, thick. So you really don't have to use that much or your hair will feel a bit weighted down so I'm gonna just use that um, in my hair and then after that you'll see me putting in Shea Moisture um, Extra Moisture I think it's called Extra Moisture it's the detangler um, now at first I wasn't too much of a fan of this product um, because again it it's just heavier than I expected a detangler to be but I have um, in the in the hotter months used it a lot more than in the winter because for some reason it works more for me right now where it's like super humid um, so yeah you'll see I don't know if I already put it in I wasn't even looking my bad it's like six o'clock in the morning so if I seem off oh there it is then I'm off <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna put a little bit in each section of my hair as you can see I've sectioned my hair halfway down I used to do four sections initially but uh, ain't nobody got time for that no more <laughs> so what you'll see me do I'm actually going to um, kind of put it in four sections you'll see me separating um, that one section into two and I'm gonna show you how I detangle now I haven't detangled my hair there it is you see what I'm doing with my fingers right there I'm kind of just pulling it through and releasing any tangles and trying to release any shed hair I don't do this in the shower because honestly it just never seemed that beneficial to me so this is pretty much um, the first step of detangling for me um, so I slowed that down so you can see it and that's the hair that I shed um, when I do that that's usually about the amount I just tried to show you and now I'm going to actually take a very wide tooth comb and um, comb my hair now the most important thing here is to start from your ends I've known that since I was younger I don't even know how I just remember telling even my mom like no just comb my hair from the bottom <laughs> because it really helps um, if you try to comb your hair from your roots you're gonna rip out a lot more hair than you should um, it's not gonna be actual hair that needs to shed you're just gonna be breaking your hair so that's pretty much um, what I do to detangle. Now, I do this about, I'd say, three times a week. Um, see, and I'm trying to show you there, I really haven't shed any hair using that method. Now, if I were to just take it from the roots, I probably would have a lot more hair shed than that. But after I do this, I'm going to show you how much hair I've shed from that whole section using the comb. Because I know a lot of people don't use combs for that reason. But for me, um, and I like to stress that everybody is different. Um, that's what I've noticed a lot lately. A lot of people um, tend to have comments like, well, you should be able to do this and you should be able to do that because this person does that. I'm sorry, but... I mean, this is kind of a mini rant. There, there's the hair, though. <laughs> Sorry. There's the hair. I'm going to put it on my hand to kind of show you. That's the hair that I shed. Well, anyway, I just wanted to say that everybody's different. Even if you see somebody and their texture looks like um, somebody else's and you think this is the way their hair should behave, you know, it doesn't have to do that because technically everybody has a unique hair type and hairstyle. So, sorry about that. <laughs> I mean... That's all I got to say about that. And I'm going to take some coconut oil. I'm almost out of it, but I actually melted it because I like it more in its melted form. I don't like to just rub it into my hands. I don't know. So I'm going to put coconut oil through my entire head. So what you see me do is leave a leave, use a leave-in conditioner, a detangler, which I use as a leave-in as well. And now I'm covering that in an oil. Um... To kind of just lock in some moisture before I put in my actual styling products. So, yeah. I can't believe I'm up this early doing this voiceover. I actually smashed my iPad last night. So, I'm up trying to uh, research repair options. Because I've actually had it for four years. And, yeah. Fail. Epic fail. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm just going to flip my head over and try to put some more oil in it. Did 
do, do, do. I don't like awkward silences. It feels weird. Like I should be saying something. Oh, so there is my Shea Moisture. I'm pretty sure it's called Curling Style Milk. Milk? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. But I'm just going to take some of that. I'm not sectioning my hair like I used to. <laughs> I'm just pulling it through my ends and trying to make sure that they're all pretty much saturated. But I really don't worry if they're not. Um, because this is going to be day one. And day one hair is always my least favorite. But I don't like to do all the, I guess, stretching and everything that I could do because I like my wash and goes, or not my wash and go, because this is not a wash and go. I like my hair to last me for a few days. And I found that if I try to like stretch it out and make it bigger on day one, it doesn't last as long for me. So, yeah, I just have to deal with day one as it is. And this is the Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I have like seven things of this because I go through it so fast. And it's really one of my favorite things. And it stayed consistent over the years. Um, but here right here you'll see that I kind of do put it in four sections. But I think I did this just for the sake of the video to show you um, what I do. So this is what I do. I just take the Curl Enhancing Smoothie and I pull it through and try to make sure that all my strands are covered. And I'm going to take a little bit more. Some people say that this product is very heavy for them and it causes them to, um, their hair to be hard, but it didn't do that for me. And this is actually from Jessie Curl. Is it called Jessie Curl? I'm pretty sure it's called Jessie Curl. And this is their, um, it's part of their, uh, I'll put it below the line that it's from, but it's actually the gel from that line. Now, I like this gel because it is very light. It's not like a thick, heavy gel. It's literally a cream. So, I like that more, but it still gives me the hold. And I'm going to take the dimming brush, as always. But, the difference this time is I just pull it through the ends of my hair instead of my whole strand. Um, and then I'm going to diffuse, and that's how it looks after diffusing pretty easy and I do it pretty much every two to three days um and I pineapple at night so that's all I hope you guys enjoy bye guys have a good day or good whatever <laughs> bye